often get asked this question, what's the difference between a townhome and a carriage home? And what's the difference between a condo and a townhome? What's the difference? Well, here's a, one way to look at it. One is how we speak conversationally. As in, where do I live? I live in a townhome. I live in an apartment. I live in a condo. That is one way. But there is also that apartment building or the neighborhood or the association that defines the, the dwellings as such. And that is used for the legal description and for the mortgage purposes. And that's another definition of the place. So conversationally, what we say is, okay, this is a single family home. Uh, yes, it is a single family home. It can be in a separate freestanding one or it can be in a neighborhood with a bunch of other single family homes and townhomes. Uh, the, the other category would be twin homes where two homes are attached together. That means they have one common wall and um, that's called a twin home, you know, literally uh, two homes. And the townhomes and the carriage homes can be a series of homes. They are multiple homes. They could be a set of three, four, five, seven, and they may vary within the same neighborhood. You know, down the street, you have a set of five, but further down, you may have only four. And the way we typically see them is, as is the end units versus the inside units. You know, the end units have those extra set of windows usually, which the inside units don't have because they have two walls, you know, on either side uh, with neighbors on either side. So what's the difference between a townhome and a carriage home? The perception uh, and the way the builder chooses to define it. So carriage homes are generally a little more luxurious and higher end and they're more expensive. And they tend to have a little more open space in that neighborhood. You know, it's not all crammed together. Whereas the townhome is perceived to be, you know, a cheaper carriage home in some ways. So how the builder defines it is how the homeowners start talking about it. And then you have the one floor living like a flat or an apartment or a condo, you know, and often the perception is that, that an apartment is rented and the condo is ownership, you know, and that's how we say it. Oh, I live in a condo you know, in a high rise. But there is also something called the association and the way it defines the dwellings in there uh, in that association. So if you have a high rise and you have apartments in that high rise and, you know, they're called condos and apartments conversationally, even though they, even when they're owned or rented. Uh, but the association may choose to call it a homeowner's association. So technically, there is a difference between a condo association and a homeowner's association. And the rules for lending differ based on whether it is a condo association or homeowners. And the builders, when they first build the home, the investors, they decided this is what it is going to be. And it sort of stays that way moving forward. So the lending rules depend on how the homeowners association or the condo association defines itself. So you could be a one level flat in a high rise and still be a part of a homeowners association. And you could be a three-level townhome with a basement underground and living and bedrooms on the upper level, which we conversationally call townhomes. That could be a condo association because that's how that neighborhood chose to define itself. And the lending rules differ. So I hope that helped. There is one way that we talk about it. And then there's one way that the formal bylaws and rules and regulations run for that particular community. Simple. Take care. Thank you for listening. If you found the topic interesting, please show me some lo love by liking the video. Subscribe to my channel. My contact information is always below. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime. If you have any suggestions for the real estate topics you'd like to hear me talk about, please, please put them in the comment section below and I'd be happy, happy to make more videos regarding those topics. Take care.